Hello guys, this is Mauro from PrintFotech.com and on this video we're going to look at the new features and changes included on Windows 10 build 18.3.12. This is a new test preview for Windows 10, 19.3, expected to release sometime in 2019. So now let's have a closer look at the most important changes in this release. Starting with build 18.3.12, Windows 10 is introducing Reserve Storage, which is a new feature designed to set aside part of your computer available storage, which the system can then use for updates and avoid problems as a result of not enough space while trying to install a new version of Windows 10 or installing a cumulative update. Reserve storage usually will reserve around 7 GB of space for updates, temporary files, and system cache and apps. But as you can see right here, on my installation is only reserving close to 3 GB. So that will depend on your system. When a new update is available, Windows 10 will delete these files, allowing updates to install successfully, or at least that's intention. The new feature will come enabled by default on devices that come pre-installed with the Windows 10 version 19.03 or after performing a clean installation of the operating system. On existing installations, there is a workaround that you can use to enable reserve storage and if you're interested in doing that, I will be leaving a link on the video description below so you can follow step by step to try this feature on your Insider Preview installation. If you want to check if your computer has the reserve storage enabled, it is as easy as just going to the settings app and then just go to the storage section and right here just click this option and then just click system of reserve if you see this section then it means that the feature is turned on on your computer otherwise you're not running the uh, version of Windows 10 to support this feature or reserve storage is disabled unfortunately you cannot control this feature once enabled but Microsoft said that you can influence the reserve storage by removing additional features that you may have installed on your device and uninstalling language packages. Also, if you use the Reset This PC feature after installing this preview, you will find a new experience to reinstall Windows 10 with a new interface that is more consistent across devices with different configurations and it now requires fewer steps to complete. Let's say that you want to reinstall Windows and remove everything. You can now click the option and you will now see that you get new settings. And here you can just use the toggle switch to select your option and click confirm. The reset will take over. It is exactly like before, just now you can use it with fewer steps. Also on Windows 10, build 18.3.12, on the uh, graphics settings page, you're going to find a new variable ref refresh rate option. That basically, it's a new feature to optimize games for variable refresh rates. But of course, your display and graphics card has to support variable refresh rate in order, in order for this feature to work. As you can see, I'm using a virtual machine, so I'm not able to turn that feature on or off. Finally, if you use the backup feature on Windows 10 through the settings app, starting with this build, the page will no longer offer the backup and restore option, but it is still available on control panel. Right here. Finally, if you don't like the transparency effect on the sign-in screen, this one right here, Windows 10 is setting an option on the uh, group policy editor to disable this effect. So if you're running Windows 10 Pro, you can simply go to GP Edit, and the new option should be located under System, Log On, and then enabling this feature. Let's see if this works. As you can see, it's no longer transparent. And that's pretty much all that's new with Windows 10, build 18.3.12. If you want to learn more about this flight, make sure to click the link in the video description. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.